Hello everyone and welcome back to Calteach's YouTube channel. This video will be focusing on food webs and how energy is moved throughout an ecosystem. My name is Amelia and I am a student assistant with Calteach. I'll be making more videos like this on various science topics and I look forward to completing many more of these. Let's get into today's topic. So what is a food web? Why are they useful? I'm sure some of you have heard of food webs or food chains. So we're going to analyze what exactly a food web is. These are diagrams that illustrate how the food chains of an ecosystem interact. So when you overlap many different food chains, maybe with the same species and organisms, they create a food web that represents how energy is distributed throughout the whole ecosystem. So this shows how that energy is passed to each trophic level. A trophic level are the levels of a hierarchy in an ecosystem, starting with the producer, going all the way up to the apex predator and the decomposers. So not all the energy is passed along the way. At each level, some of it is lost to heat. So the decomposers will never end up with as much energy as the producers. That's usually why they eat more or they consume more energy. So starting with the lowest base level are the producers. The producers use sunlight, nutrients, and water from the soil to make sugars through photosynthesis that can be used for energy by other organisms. These are usually plants or any other organism with a chloroplast. And some examples of these would be trees, flowers, and grasses. Primary consumers are the second level, and these are organisms that eat the producers. They are usually herbivores, but they do not have to be in the food web if your secondary consumer, the next level, is an omnivore. If not, then you must have a primary consumer in your food web. The next level is a secondary consumer. These are organisms that eat primary consumers. They're usually carnivores, but can be omnivores. Again, if you don't have a primary consumer, your secondary consumer can be an omnivore that eats plants and animals. Some examples of these would be rats or lizards, other things like that. Tertiary consumers are the fourth level. These organisms eat the secondary consumer. They are carnivores usually, but can be omnivores as well. These are usually larger organisms and called apex predators. They don't have to be in the food web, but usually we see an apex predator. The examples of these would be owls or foxes. The final trophic level are decomposers. These are organisms that decompose dead organisms. They usually decompose many different types of organisms. They can be small bacteria as well. These are at the very end of the food chain and allow energy to recycle back to the producer. Some examples of decomposers are fungi, crows, or small bacteria. So let's examine this food chain. This is just one energy pathway of a larger ecosystem, but let's begin by analyzing this. So it starts with the grass that uses sunlight to produce sugars through photosynthesis. This is known as our producer. This grass is then eaten by grasshoppers. That would be our primary consumer. Now, since we have a primary consumer, we know that they are an herbivore, which means they only eat plants. Notice the arrow pushes towards the grasshopper and not towards the grass. This is because since the grasshopper eats the grass, this is the direction of energy flow, so we want that arrow to point towards the grasshopper. Then the bluebird eats the grasshopper to gain its energy. Again, some energy is always lost to heat. The snake eats the bluebird and the owl eats the snake. Finally, the decomposer breaks down the owl and puts nutrients back into the soil for the producers to once again make energy and the chain to keep cycling around. Let's look at this food web and do an analysis. Look at the food web and write down what you think the two producers in this food web are. I'll give you a few seconds. Yes, the two producers in this food web would be berries and plantains. These are then eaten by the herbivores, which are greenfly, grasshopper, butterflies, birds, and then the omnivores, mice and rabbit. What would be the secondary consumers in this food web? Write down your answer. I'll give you a few seconds. All right, now that we have that done, the tertiary or the apex predator could be a snake or maybe the bird, the fox, that would be our apex predator. 
So what's missing from this food web? That's right, the decomposers. Those are the most important thing to recycle the energy in a food web. Write down some decomposers that you would add to make this food web complete. Please download the food web diagram you see here from the description box of this video. Leave a comment on other videos you would like to see from Calteach. Thank you for watching and I look forward to speaking with you next time.